Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, just going for a bit of a drive to pick up a new SD card for my GoPro as filming a couple of videos this weekend and um, yeah definitely worried about running out of room so I thought I'd go pick up a new SD card just to be safe um, take the Evo obviously as it's my daily driver which is what I basically want to talk about today in this video as I kind of think is the Evo 10 MR the best or perfect sort of fun daily driver now obviously personal preference and also mine isn't actually an MR but it's just easiest to call it that um, as that's what most people consider it um, it is a GSR with the SST transmission option so yeah it's got a few GSR features but obviously the main MR feature being this gearbox which is the main reason why I find this to be the perfect daily driver now when I say daily driver I mean yeah you can just have like a little run around daily driver that's cheap on fuel and not a sports car or anything fun and then save your fun car for you know your weekends but I personally like to just have one car that does it all drive it every day enjoy it drive it to work so it has to be something that's not too bad at just sort of commutes but also has to be a lot of fun for you know fun drives cruises car meets mountain runs all that type of stuff and i kind of think that the evo 10 mr specifically or sst transmission equipped evo 10 is the perfect car for that Extremely helpful and usable. 
um, and the dual clutch gearbox is a big part of it. So personally, I drove manual transmissions, some with extremely heavy clutches, for like 15 years, and after a while, I kind of just got over it. Um, and I wanted something that's just easier to drive. Never wanted really an automatic transmission, but the dual clutch is the perfect middle ground. So you can still be fully in control of what gear your car's in. I drive this car in manual mode at all times. So, you know, if I want to drop back a gear. Go forward a gear. It's all in control. But if you want to drive and have a coffee, have a free hand to do stuff, you never really need it. You can put it in full auto mode, but um, I just drive it in manual, and you can always shift up and down easy enough. Um, if you're coming to a complete stop, it will downshift all the way into first for you. Um, but other than that, it's always in, you're in control when you're in manual mode. But yeah, if you want, you can let someone else drive the car and just put it in normal mode for the transmission so it's nice and smooth. Put it in auto mode so it shifts itself and you can just drive around like a normal automatic and anyone can drive it. Um, and so another point why I think this is the perfect daily. So it's being a daily, obviously, yeah, you want usability at all times if you want to have the one car. So this you can take to work, take it to a car park, get shopping, park it up. doesn't look too out of place. Obviously, it's an aggressive looking um, car, but it's not anything crazy. It's not like a, a really small sports coupe or anything. You can also then take it to a car show or a car meet. It still looks um, in place there. And yeah, it's still going to get a bit of attention in both situations, but nothing too crazy. SD card, should be good to go. So I'm just heading back now, and I am in sixth gear, and sitting on 90 kilometers an hour, and it's just under two and a half thousand RPM. So if you're doing a lot of sort of motorway commuting, it's pretty decent on fuel. If you're just staying out of boost, sitting in the top gear so obviously sixth gear in this SST if you have the manual it's going to be a five speed manual uh, previously I'd always owned um, six speed manual V8s and those when you're sitting on sort of motorway speeds your RPM is barely above idle so it uses very little fuel um, this is going to be a bit higher RPM obviously being a four cylinder but if you're just just sort of cruising along, staying out of boost, you can get decent fuel economy out of this. It does have a small fuel tank, but um, it's 55 litres, I believe. But you can get around 450 kilometres, I think is the best I've had. That's um, mostly motorway driving and staying out of boost the majority of the time, but still having a few pulls here and there. Uh, usually around 380 kilometres if you're you're not driving so much motorway and yeah if you're just in boost the whole time it's obviously going to be uh, a lot lower but yeah it's it's okay on fuel um, it's okay to service I've had worse um, and it's really a very comfortable car just for sitting on the motorway I really find the Recaro bucket seats to be extremely comfortable on long trips and extremely usable and comfortable when you are just um, heading you know, for a drive in the mountains or onto the track or any sort of spirit of driving. They hold you in really well, but they don't get uncomfortable after sitting in them for multiple hours. I actually find them more comfortable than the Rally Art seats that Letitia has, which are in a nice leather retrim. They're very soft and sort of luxurious to sit in at the start, but I find after a few hours, they're not as comfortable as Recaro's. Like on long trips in her car, I find myself getting a bit uncomfortable 
Whereas in these, complete opposite. So yeah, that's um, a big bonus for a daily driver. I'm a bigger guy, so if you're uh, much bigger than me, maybe you might not like the Recaros. Um, they fit me perfectly. And yeah, I don't get thrown around when I'm throwing the car into corners. Um, but yeah, if you're a bit smaller than me, maybe they're not as good. I'm not too sure. They might not be as snug. You might move around a bit in the sort of Evo um, five, six, seven, eight, nine seats might be better off for you. But yeah, they're perfect for me, um, my sort of size, and yeah, really comfortable. So that's another big bonus. Um, so yeah, it's like really usable for the daily commutes. I drive to work every day. Uh, I drive, sorry, I should say that I drive Letitia's Verena, which is a uh, five-speed manual little four-cylinder car. I drive that on the weekends when I work, as she's not using it. But normal um, weekday driving to work, weekday going to go to the shops, run errands or whatever. Um, I'm always in this car. It's it's sort of so good because yeah, it's so usable, being that I can have fun if I want. So maybe I get up to a nice little tunnel or an underpass. I'll drop back a few gears and do a bit of a pull through it. I see another car that I like and want to have a bit of a play with in traffic, I can. I just want to cruise and not use too much fuel, I can. Like, that's what I mean. It, it is the perfect all-around daily driver. And I've never been someone who wants to have an all-out, stripped-out car that's over-modified so much so that it's no longer fun to use on the streets. You, you build it too much that it becomes either unreliable or uncomfortable or too loud or worried about um, police attention. That's not the sort of cars that I want to own at stage. If I was, you know, had lots of money, it'd be great to have something like that and then have something like this as the daily all around. But for me, um, I much prefer having one car that does it all. So this is that car, I think. Pretty interesting, I thought that I bought this car six years ago and it's still the only car I'd want in this price range. It still does everything I want it to do. It has so much aftermarket support. I've definitely modified it a lot since I got it. But it's been completely reliable to me. And yeah, it's it's I've never regretted buying it. I've never hated it at any point um, and wanted to get rid of it. Whereas I've done that with just every other car obviously that I've owned because I don't own them anymore. So yeah, um, I think I'll end the video there. Probably forgot a few of the points that I was meant to raise, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. If you think you know of a better all-around daily driver, let me know. What, what would you buy if you didn't have an Evo 10? Or if you don't have an Evo 10, what do you recommend? Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you're in a different country with different cars that might not have um, a model that we have in Australia and they might be better suited, then yeah, let me know. But yeah, I think I'll um, end the video there. So hope you enjoyed it. And hope you're enjoying the videos on the channel in general. If you are, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as I do upload two videos each week on one on Wednesday, one on a Sunday. And yeah, feel free to like the video, put any comments you have below. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.